We're back with some more Final Fantasy 13. Uh, yesterday I beat Rosh and got a little bit past that. Um, my A button on my Xbox controller was fucking wigging out. So I have to be careful with that. Especially when I'm using leveling up on the Crystarium. So we'll see. So yeah, just a disclaimer. The schedule says six to ten. Uh, most likely that's gonna be anywhere between six and ten. And not necessarily like a full four hour stream. Uh, but I could probably pull that off more so on a, on like a Saturday morning. And I might change what the schedule is depending on just how, how I feel. You know, if it's a, if it's a Saturday morning after work, I may just... I may just switch to streaming a Saturday night, Sunday night. So, my schedule is kind of like a test run right now. It's not set in stone. I've never been good with stream schedules. It's not something I do full time because I have a full time job and I work a lot. But, you know, if streaming full time becomes profitable, then yeah. I would rather do this than go work at Home Depot all day. But, you know, Home Depot. I mean, there's a, there's some good benefits to Home Depot. It depends. I mean, and streaming is kind of like based off how many people <laughs> are still interested, you know, so. I feel like so many people are successful because, you know, people like Lobos Jr., people like German 985 and Dr. Disrespect, and so the more, every time there's people who like those streamers continue to show up. Well, I don't remember this guy being in here. didn't work. I think he can change his weaknesses. Ow. But yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, how's it going? VOD gang, hopefully you enjoy the stream and catch me if you can on Twitch and like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. But yeah, I've, I haven't really been all that um consistent with content and stuff like I've got another YouTube channel that I have tried 
using for like a playthrough playthrough channel and I kept up with it for like a month and I just I kind of haven't been back to it so I don't know a lot of things are stressful right now in real life and yeah I mean like I play Magic the Gathering I play video games when I can and those are good distractions but sometimes I just don't want to do anything you know I just want to like mess with my magic cards or play video games and then watch a bit like YouTube videos or podcast so yeah I don't know and it, it, it's also about like profitability like is is it really profitable to to make content like how many people are actually interested in this like I wrote a novel right called Wages of Chaos and I put it on Amazon and like a handful of people bought it but like no one's told me how it is so it's like okay so you bought my book but you haven't read it and you haven't bothered to like tell me how 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 it was so that's kind of how I feel with like content on YouTube and streaming like people people obviously watch my YouTube shit but like no one says hey great content like when I started uploading right away on my new channel there was people commenting that stuff but they ended up being trolls and it's just like they weren't real they were just trolls but my my main YouTube channel I've had for like 2008 since 2008 I have I have videos on there that are the channel that this stream gets uploaded to I have some videos on there that are like really popular but they're just like like a clip from a movie or I used to make animated music videos I'm sure everyone did back in the day because those were popular I feel like I could grind a shit ton here it's a lot of enemies but yeah I remember in 2011 I tried to record Final Fantasy 13 but it wasn't your it wasn't through any means of like Recording the TV through a like Elgato or anything because I didn't know about that. I was just like, you know, I think I had come across Let's Plays and stuff, so I was like, let me just use. Um, I think I had a flip camera. I don't know if anyone's heard of a flip, it was an old camcorder that came out like in 2009 they were really fun I liked them I used them all the time I either used that or like a phone camera that I had just recorded the TV Be ready for the next and you know when you record for some reason when you put a camera to like a screen it just it ends up being a total shit you get those lines going up and down the screen I don't get that it's kinda weird so I don't know where I'm going because 
Because it's been a while since I've played this game, and so I haven't been to this area in a while. I have to be careful with my with my A button here, and I can't change like the controls for whatever reason. It's kind of stupid. They don't let you change anything. I was gonna try and change the controls to like X being A. You know, old fashioned Final Fantasy. Because it's, it's from, it's like PlayStation, so X is usually the, the action button. <sighs> These guys can be rough. But yeah, I almost forgot I wanted to try and stream again this morning because I was watching a, a recent stream German 985 did and building a magic. A Magic the Gathering Commander deck. If you know what Magic the Gathering is, I was trying to build a Sisse Weatherlight Captain Gates and Shrines deck. Oh shit. I'm almost dead. I'm not even paying attention. Ow. Wow, that sword is pretty nasty. No, that was quick. Oh, and yes, I am using easy mode, uh, just for the sake of my sanity, because my patience is not the greatest lately. I want to play this game. I still, I want to enjoy playing the game. So, and I played it before multiple times. So it's just like easy mode, just to get through it. I don't want to spend a long time on this. So we'll see. I mean, I don't know why I said we'll see. Just we'll see, I guess. I don't know. It's not really. It's not really anything to talk about. Just, But yeah, just, like, I'll probably do like an hour and a half, or two hours. Totally depending on how I feel. I came in pretty early yesterday, and then I ended up going home early. Rel well, relatively early for me. It was still a full day. So. Still a full day. So I'd, I'd been home from work, you know, for like three hours. Or two and a half, I guess. And yes, that is...
steady now. This is more of me just trying to be somewhat consistent. You know, like, hey, here's a rough estimate of when I might stream in the morning. Um, and just try to do it, you know, every day if possible. I'm not really consistent all that much in my life, oh, really, as of late, so. Whoa. Are these guys fighting? Hell yeah. I don't know who to kill first. Probably that guy. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? I kind of did that by accident. Because... I wanted to see what was... What's happening. This is probably a really good grinding area. Back under your rock. I saw something funny. My screen. Um, how do you get down there?
I don't remember what the next area is, so I'm just kind of like... Uh... Oh, they're back. No, it's good. Oh, the, I don't... Excuse me. I don't know why they spawned in back so fast. I guess we'll go ahead and go on through. I just, I can't, I can't remember what the next area is. So if it's like fucking Bartandalus again, then. So close. We'll find another way in. I know, I know Rosh shows up again because See, I totally forgot this too. They they show up. Fell C sure know how to pick them. Yeah. yeah. Out of all the idiots in the world, they choose this one. Oh, hey, hey. Now wait just a minute here. <laughs> I am your fearless leader. You're not supposed to laugh at the boss. What? Whoa. Just like old times. Huh, boss? Don't you worry. We'll take care of the civilians. And you concentrate on saving Cocoon. We all will. Together. I totally forgot they show up again. I honestly don't remember this part of the game. Like, who's next? What box is next? What the fuck is that? Oh, were those guns? Dip, 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 dip,
Oh shit. Fuck, is that two Kaiser behemoths? Or not Kaisers. <laughs> two Humbabas. Just focus on one at a time, I guess. Come on. Why is lightning having such a hard time launching? Juggle. They don't even get that much. It's so dumb. This juggernaut's no joke either. <sighs> what the hell? Oh shit, are we almost to Bartandalus? Or the... I forget if Bartandalus is behind that door. I don't like juggernauts. They can be annoying. But they probably don't even get that much CP, so... That's a long fight for... care for these guys either.
Come on. Man, that stagger is not... Doesn't last very long. Uh, no. I'm trying to get a preempt. But I guess, uh, these guys aren't easy to fool, huh? Whatever. I don't need it. Don't steam clean. No, that's not what I meant to do. Why is he healing? Yeah, I really hope Bartandalus isn't behind the door. I remember Rosh comes back again. Because even though you beat him, oh my god. You really don't care for these guys. Doesn't, doesn't give a lot of CP. I'd rather just move on. Those Humbabas don't give a lot of CP, so. Okay, random cutscene. If you've never played Final Fantasy 13, it's like cutscene mania. The whole game's a movie. It's still a good game. I do like it. But a lot of people are just like, eh, it's fucking movie. I didn't buy this to watch a fucking movie. Uh, what is this stuff? <laughs> huh. Some sort of crystal? Uh, uh. I don't like this. Is the cocoon falling apart already? Could be. Maybe Orphan's having trouble holding things together with all this fighting going on. The clamor of this conflict rouses the ah. maker. <laughs> yeah, we we're gonna stop this ruckus soon enough. Can you halt the cavalry's charge? Filled with righteousness, oh, shit. slaughter, or for the name of freedom. Your only recourse will be to deliver them death, swift and certain. No. Unlike you, they'll listen to reason. <laughs> I do like Bartandalus. The I fights are always fun. The demise of the coup from atop the highest seat in all of Eden. You too should hurry along to the heart of our grand capital. Your loved ones miss you so. Huh? Come, let's see. Fulfill your destiny. He's like fucking Emperor Palpatine. Destiny. We'll decide our own destiny. Right. Over Bartandalus's dead body. It's bright. Okay. There's a save point over here. And I don't know why they give you the option. They put an Andamantois in here. It's like, are you kidding? 
There's no way you should be able to beat an Animantoise at this point of the game. Oh shit, he comes at you. No, dude. What the hell? Yeah. Animantoises are basically super bosses in 13, but like, not really, if that makes any sense. They're not super bosses in the original sense of what a super boss is. They are, what the hell? What's going on? I don't know. The fucking cutscenes. Oh. Okay. The Andaman Toys was there to. I'm just gonna not fight those humbabas. There. It takes a while. It's not worth the CP, you know. Oh, and that makes sense. We're we're outside. That's one part of Final Fantasy games. Like at least um, 15 was like a little more realistic in the sense that when you get into a fight, it's in the area that you're fighting in. I think 12, 12 was like that too, you fought in the area that you're in. But no, 13 is like, you're in a building, well, all the fights are gonna take place outside. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh my god. Bazookas are stupid dangerous. Like, come on, come on, dude. No, the knockback is troublesome. Well, that wasn't scary at all. That wasn't scary at all. Why can't they just keep the music the same? There's nothing wrong with fighting to this music. It makes it more like... I don't know. I don't know, what's the word? Surreal? Yeah, the Crystarium really fucked up my controller yesterday. <laughs> Just like holding, holding A made my A button just stick. Like what the fuck? It's crazy, dude. This is random, but... Okay. When I was younger, I did play Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot. Not professionally. Or... Not professionally. That's not the word. Uh, not competitively. I mostly played Yu-Gi-Oh! for fun with friends. I stopped playing... Like around 2000, after 2010, because I, I found some people, and the last school, the last high school I went to, yeah, I went to a lot of high schools, but like, I legit went 
to a bunch of high schools, and the one I went, like, one I graduated at. Okay, which one is fucking Bazooka? This is annoying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I basically met people who played Yu-Gi-Oh! In the high school I graduated from. And made like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Club. It's like the most I've ever done in a fucking school. Stay calm. Made a goddamn. <laughs> okay, this is getting annoying. <laughs> yeah, we all played Yu Gi Oh! casually and whatever. It was fun. I enjoyed it. But that was like the last time I actually played Yu Gi Oh! And then I didn't get into magic. Until like three or so, well, it'd be like yeah, it'd be like yeah. just another battle. Like six, Jesus Christ, six years ago, fucking. Crazy, but I didn't pick up magic till like six, like 2016. Um, but yeah, the other day I realized there's a new fucking Yu-Gi-Oh game on Steam that's free. It's, it's like really good graphics. It's like the Magic Arena equivalent. So basically, what I'm getting at is. Like, maybe I'll stream some games on that. I don't know. I, I messed around with it this morning, and I was like, uh... Yeah. It's, it's basically Yu-Gi-Oh! Just... The only issue I have with Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is that I don't understand any of the new stuff like Link and I think I I think Synchro Summoning with, came out when I stopped playing so I like understand the Synchro Summoning I just think it's like I think it's dumb the, the links and the pendulums, like, I don't... You can fuck off with that shit. Just give me a fucking... Kaiba and Yugi's deck and Joey's deck from early 2000s. That's what I fucking grew up on. And then... Uh... The second generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! with the city tournament. Where they, where they like, went hard on. They started making more cards with effects, and and then Yu-Gi-Oh GX came out, and whoa. Yu-Gi-Oh GX came out, and GX was like super. That's when they went really hard on card effects. Like, rarely did you get vanilla. Rarely did you get a vanilla um, creature. You know, you got Elemental Hero Neos and shit like that. Some of the Elemental Heroes... Elemental Heroes... We're vanilla. I like GX. I know it was a not popular. But I was like still 
I think I was a teenager when GX came out. I enjoyed it. Storyline was kind of all over the place. Lots of filler episodes. But yeah, I mean, I'll I'll probably stream a little bit of the 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 new Yu-Gi-Oh game called Master Duels or whatever. But I mean, it, you know, if they start. If I kind of have to play with the links and the pendulum shit, I'm kind of probably going to not be interested. Like with Magic the Gathering, I feel like I can I can keep up with all the mechanics and shit that they that they make every set, you know, every new set that comes out, there's usually a new mechanic or two. And it's like, "Oh, well, it's not it's not impossible to keep up with it because it's kind of like this it's kind of like this you know ebb and flow thing where it's not hard to figure out and it kind of just goes flows with the game and, and I feel like maybe that would be the case for Yu-Gi-Oh players like if you played Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid and then you are still playing it consistently then maybe the new mechanics are like not that hard to understand but I guess since I've been out of it for so long you know like I'm watching people like Yu-Gi-Oh players react to mm, magic cards and and I'm just like stop <laughs> I don't know why do you need to react to magic cards like Yu-Gi-Oh and magic have a, some si similarities for sure but like if you don't understand um like you won't understand why a magic card is good if the meta for Yu-Gi-Oh makes makes what a magic card is good end up being bad. Like there are some things in magic that would really synergize well with discarding your entire hand like one with nothing. And I feel like if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, discarding your whole hand might not be good. I don't know. Like, I don't know what the fuck people do nowadays with Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, it's all... It's all, like, random. Um, it's just, I don't know. But I mean, I just say it, I just say that to say I probably will check out this Yu-Gi-Oh game more and stream it. There's some other things that I came across that I want to see if I can play, but if I have to buy it, I probably won't. Cause I, I have a lot of video games on my computer, like, like I have the Mass Effect series, I have Final Fantasy X, I have Dark Souls 3, uh, Dark Souls 3 will probably not be streamable just because it's still, I don't have like the best computer, I have like a gaming computer that kind of introduces you To be able to game and stream. <clears throat> so, you know, it's not. We can get through this. Um. S 
and and the uh, the other game that I definitely can't stream, barely play. That is is fucking Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That was that was kind of a mistake to buy. I shouldn't have bought Jedi Fallen Order. Um, but I didn't realize how, like, uh, like how graphically needy Fallen Order was gonna be. Like, I can barely play that game. It's not, it's not cool because I have a sixty-dollar game. You know, it's still worth sixty dollars. It's still a great game, and people still play it. But like, it's just, just a sixty dollar game sitting on my computer, and I can't really play it. I'm not gonna uninstall it. Whoa! What the hell? That was crazy. Oh, but it's it sucks. The, uh, what are other games that I have? I have Dark Souls 2. That's streamable. Um, I tried... Last time I streamed Magic the Gathering Arena, like, it, it, it ended up turning out pretty poorly, so, like, I'll still stream it and see what happens, but for some reason, like, that's never been a thing. Like I was, a I was able to stream it and and stuff and, but for some reason, last time I streamed Arena, it was just like, it's very poor quality. Um, and I'm trying to think. The Mass Effect, Dark Souls Two, I can stream. The Mass Effect games are not. Like, they're pretty power glove. I think I'm good with, like, I've got a lot of, a lot of those things. Sell survival catalog. Gold dust? Where did that come from? Gold dust is usually something you pick up on the uh, on pulse. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to look. I have the classic Star Wars uh, Jedi games. I don't like Academy. I have I I've, I've been playing, or I was playing uh, Knights of the Old Republic for like a month straight in December. So that was fun. I kind of fucked up because. I didn't realize that I didn't realize that 
I was subbed and I accidentally had it renew my sub for this month which I didn't really care for because I hadn't really been playing at all I think I played once this month so it's just kind of like uh and Steam doesn't do refunds which is so dumb because like I did a one month sub for Coder Kotor and then it just you know oh who cares if you only paid for one month let's renew it's like seriously dude oh yeah Rosh is way up there if you see at the end um like yeah he's he's fucking parked down there so we have to deal with all this bullshit and then Rosh which Rosh then uses like the second phase of his ship so it's like crazier and more powerful but yeah I think I'm gonna call it here I'm getting kinda tired um I will definitely be back on tomorrow what it's Thursday Jesus Christ it's already Thursday uh, Thursday. No, fuck. Today is Thursday. God damn. That's what happens when you work overnight. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. It's Friday morning. I'll be back. And then Saturday morning, I'll be back. I'll be playing Magic Arena tomorrow and Saturday. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like shit like it did last time so I don't know what what that's about to be honest because it was perfectly fine so but yeah uh, take it easy guys I'll see you all tomorrow and if you're on you on the YouTube's like comment subscribe and yeah, have a good day. Got a double, double save.